Good morning everyone. As you can see this is Dell Inspiron 5415. So today in this video we're gonna show you how to enable the USB boot in UEFI environment. Regardless Windows 10 or 11 the procedure is same. So first of all you should create one correct bootable USB thumb drive and this is the model number P143G. Uh, Inspiron, quite new one, comes with Ryzen processor. By the way, so you should have the correct bootable USB thumb drive, either for Windows 10 or 11. Once you have that connected, if you don't have one, if you'd like to know how to create one, you can check. I'm going to leave the video link on the description. So make sure charger is always connected because we don't want to interrupt the actual uh, process. So. Once you hit the power button, keep pressing F2. That would take you directly to the BIOS screen. That's the great innovation from Dell. They never changed the BIOS button. Always F2. Okay. So, wait for the screen to come up. Yes. And that's the main screen, as you can see. So, from the main section, you can see all about the uh, system details inspire on 5415 how much RAM in the everything this is very simple what you need to do we just need to go to the security because all settings would be in the security section so from here we're going to get into first of all firmware tpm if it is disabled make sure you make it enable then we're going to go to secure boot as you can see and if that is also disabled, we need to make it enable. And the, if that is already pre-enabled, then you don't have to change it. So we're gonna say yes, and this is enabled. Select boot secure mode. It has to be deployed mode. So we're gonna hit enter, and pretty much that's all. Don't worry about the boot section, that would be fine. So we're gonna press F10 to save the changes and keep pressing F12 while it restart so f12 is the temporary boot option is going to show us everything on the list if the changes are correct if your bootable usb thumb drive is correct then it's going to show up on the list as you can see the top one usb that's the one when you select it hit enter and now the system going to read this usb and bring up to the windows setup page it could take like one minute less or couple of minutes it depend on how fast is your usb and everything okay so if you see it's stuck on dell don't be surprised don't press the power button or don't try to do anything just wait until you see the window setup as you can see it's taking quite long seems like uh, it's stuck on the uh, dell logo but it's not it's not definitely not we're gonna wait until we see here we go as you can see spinning yeah that's the one so from here is pretty simple but I'm gonna carry on this video I'm gonna fast forward until the end to see if everything is successful or not that would be a fresh installation so whatever partition in there I'm gonna delete it if you follow this you might gonna lose your data so make sure before you format or delete any partition, you back up your files and folders. So go to custom and as you can see, there are a lot of partitions. I'm going to delete one by one. As I said, make sure you backed up your data before getting to this process. Otherwise, you're going to lose everything. So delete, that's the process. So let's fast forward the video until the end if the boot is correct and successful. <laughs> 